Hey, it's Emily with the Wix Collective, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about Wix pricing plans, how to use them, how to create a free and a paid members area, and just a few tips and tricks, tricks to help you along the way. Got my little buddy snuggled in here for nap time, so I thought I'd hop on here and make a quick little video. So let's get started. To create a pricing plan, you're going to first start in the editor. You're gonna come down here to add apps, and then we're gonna stick with the Wix native app. So we're gonna be looking for pricing plan. And then it's already installed on this particular template, but if it wasn't, we would just click install. So it's going to take us to the pricing plan page. And when you first select to put this app on your website, it's going to automatically populate all of the processes in the back end of the dashboard. It's going to take a second, but what's really great about using Wix native apps is that it's going to integrate seamlessly with your website. You don't have to set up anything third party. It is just wonderful. Okay. So here, when you create a pricing plan, I'm going to go to manage pages. You can see that it creates an entirely new page for the plans. When you see this little, um, it kind of looks like an app selection graphic right there. That means that that's a page that the app automatically creates for itself to stay organized, okay? So here we've got the pricing plan page. Now let's talk about how to make it look good and then we're gonna go behind the scenes. So we're gonna click settings here and you, we're gonna work on customizing the plans later. But if you first want to select which plans you want to have listed here, that's probably going to come later after we set up your plans. Right now, let's just go through the layout. You can have them aligned to the left or center. This is the, the um, header right there. You can adjust the padding, adjust the description below. So if you want them to be left justified, right justified over here. See that's coming up there, it's coming in that. If you want the benefits to include any bullet points, you can include those there. You can align the benefits to the side, center, and then adjust your line spacing here. If you have lots and lots of benefits and you want them to be really tight, then there you go, that's how you do that. Here we've got display. So what do you want to show? Title, subtitle, find one that works for you. Plan name, you can take it off if you want to. Tagline benefits, you can have a highlighted plan if one of them is a better deal than another or you're having some sort of special. And then you can also show a disclaimer that says renews after one year. Okay. Next, we're moving on to text. Now, this is where you change the content here. So choose your pricing plan. You can change there, the subtitle, and then change your button text here below. You can also, we're going to talk here about if you want to have a free trial or not, that's the next step. The design, again, just like anything else in Wix, this is how you find the design area. You click on design, and then you can edit away with text styles, colors, etc. And then add-ons would be if you wanted to show just a single plan or an entire list, that's where you would choose that. Okay, well, let's select manage plans. So this is how you get into kind of the nitty-gritty step of displaying your plans, features, benefits, pricing. So here it has two already set up. So this took us to the dashboard. We're still in the editor, but it popped up a little dashboard here on top. So we've got the personal program and the group program. Now, right now, I'm just going to hide these so they don't show on the site. And I'm going to create my own plan. Now, let's just call this gold. Tagline, best ever, <laughs> okay? And then you can, it's going to show you here how it pops up in the like actual layout. Now you just start typing out benefits. Good stuff. Three things. Good coaching. Of course, these are terrible. It's terrible. Uh, you're not going to want to say things like that. But then you can 
organize those below. And then you can also connect. So if you want to include booking services, you can you know, add one online consultation included with this particular pricing plan. You can also select file share subscriptions. So if you have a folder of you know, information that you want to share with everybody, so this particular website has a bunch of nutrition plans and folder, they can view and download those. Blog subscriptions. So if you want people to be able to have access to exclusive posts, click add post here. You can select all of the posts that you want to have available in the plan there. So if you have hidden posts that is available there, under groups, give clients access to exclusive groups. Groups are basically like Facebook group pages. It's wonderful. So if someone signs up for the gold plan for this particular nutrition coaching, then they have access to the group where they can um, correspond and you know connect with you and other group members. You can also include online programs, which are the online courses. And you can select which online courses you want them to be a part of. Pricing and duration, offer plan free of charge, select the length of plan, or offer one-time payment or recurring payments. And that under recurring payments is where you would select the free trial. Advanced settings, single purchase only, um, that would just be one per person. So that would mean if they um, come to your website and they log in with the email and password, they can only buy one plan. They have to log in with another email and password to buy an additional plan. Um, allow plan cancellation, uh, custom start date, plan policies. That's pretty self-explanatory. So and that is how you're going to be offering the course. I'm just going to click cancel and just cut changes for now because we don't need to. I really launch that plan. It's just not that exciting. It's not that real. Okay. I'm going to click show on this one that came with it. Now here is where you can create a coupon for this plan. So we've got the summer, summer Santa 20. So you can do a amount or a discount off percentage wise, and then you can set it valid between um, a beginning and end date. And then you can limit the number of uses. So first 10 people get it for, you know, $10 off. Okay. And that's how you create your coupon. All right, so let's talk about how to give certain levels of membership certain access, okay? So I'm going to show this again. Now let's say that we have pages on our site that we want to show to personal program people, and we have pages on <coughs> excuse me, we have pages on our site that we want to only show the group program people. Let us go to the pages manage pages let's say that we only want the recipes to be visible to people who have purchased a particular plan you're going to go to permissions members only and then select only selected members or paying customers they have to be a okay obviously a site collaborator like me to be able to view it and then from the pricing plans, we want the personal program, the highest paying group to, able to access the recipe. So now if we say this, only the people who have a membership of the highest level are able to see the recipes. Super cool, huh? I love that feature. Um, yeah, absolutely love that. So how to create a free members area, you would just create a free plan and then you would only set um, the pages you want to be available to the free people um, as you know, open just to the free people and also to paying members. But then you would block off anything else. Like if we wanted the podcast to be hidden from them or behind you know, more of a paywall, you'd go back to the permissions just like we did, members only, and then selected members are paying customers. Now you'd want them to be personal and group, and then there'd be free plan under here that you would create as well. And so the free plan would not be able to see them, but both the paying members would, the paying group, the group and the personal program. So I absolutely love Wix pricing plans and membership areas. 
I want to do another video just diving a little bit deeper into the membership areas because it's just there's it's just seems like it's endless. But that's a little bit about how you use it with the pricing plan. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Let me see if I have any other tips and tricks to help you along the way. I think that's really it. I will say this when you edit the pricing plan page on mobile. It's a little different. So you click here and click settings and you can have it shown expanded or collapsed, I believe. So, okay, there it is expanded. And there it is collapsed. Okay, so you have to show it. Um, it automatically collapses the view and hides the benefits below, but you'll just have to know that you have to click that little arrow to see the benefits, but I think it's great because then they don't get lost. It's not overwhelming. They can see the um, individual plants first and then expand them if they want to. All right. So that is everything that you need to know to get started with Wix pricing plans. Again, I am happy to help. Please leave comments below and I will hopefully help you in any way that I possibly can. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.